Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a test here. We are going to learn why you are getting bad FPS, why your render stats is red, and why your graph is fluctuating, and how to fix the game to get it to run good. Now the first thing I want to explain to you guys, I am running a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D 4080 Super 128 gigs of RAM playing a game from 2014 and there is no reason for me to be getting 104 FPS right now. Absolutely no reason for it, but I know how to fix it and I know how to show you guys what the problems are. So enough of that, we're out of the tunnels now, we're back up to 120 and we're, not, we're running an unlimited frame limiter, I should be able to get way more. So let's back out of the game. Real quick here, we're going to back out now I'm going to go change my settings real quick back to something that is much more reasonable for this game online in traffic servers. This is a huge thing to understand is the difference of the game in single player versus online versus drifting servers versus traffic servers you are going to get different performance in all of these servers no matter what your settings will also matter big time on the performance that you get the settings are a huge part of it but they are not all of it and this is where people come into the problem is they change their settings and then expect that they'll be able to play no hezi because they followed a guide from me on how to get high FPS. I'm sorry, but that's not how the world works on this game. Now it does kind of work that way, because if you go play online, and you benchmark it, and then you go play a small server online that doesn't have a lot of cars and the map isn't really big, your benchmarking will actually be very close together but I can get a thousand FPS in single player online offline sorry I can't get anywhere near that in any kind of online server and that's the point that we're making here today so let me just go through this again feel free to copy any settings that you see because they're all pretty good settings and we're gonna go down here and we're just going to make sure that we have the settings off that we want off. We're going to put this back to medium and we're going to go back to particle effects and take everything out of there that is going to be predicted. So let's take off the smoke, let's take off the sparks, let's not update heat shimmer, let's t take the fireworks off, take the solid pieces of dirt off, go back to reflections here and we're going to lower the skid marks and we're pretty pretty good here we do have some increased shadow settings and stuff going on but now let's load back in and let's see what kind of difference that makes at an unlimited frame rate alright and mind you I need to turn the world details to minimum and now we should be getting significantly more FPS already the game should still look totally fine and I shouldn't have anything to complain about now. That's the theory here. In reality, if I do have something to complain about, I will show you how to fix it right now. The big part of this video today is just to stress that online servers, single player, map size, car quality, car amount, player amount, traffic quality, traffic amount, weather conditions, everything that you can think of that you see in the game is something in the game that your computer will be communicating with that will be affecting your performance. So you're not crazy if you think that you join an online server that has rain and you're losing 40 FPS. It's actually 100% normal. It's totally normal. There is no magical fix for it. And anybody that's out there trying to sell you, you know, RAM fixes and 
settings to get better FPS and all that stuff. It's everything that you can do yourself. Okay, so now look what happens. Now we're sitting at 190 FPS. It's all in the green. There's no more red. And now we have a seamless, smooth gameplay experience. And all I did was lower maybe 10 settings. 10 settings, double FPS. But now we're hitting some kind of fluctuation. So we're going to have to figure out what that is. It's a small fluctuation. I don't know what it is, but it's not a big deal. We'll figure it out. And now we can see our anti-aliasing is really affecting the light posts. They're coming in a little jittery. Which is fine, because in most scenarios, I'll be playing the game with fog, motion blur, and things like that. So if you don't like the flickering of the light posts in the daytime, which is just a, a crappy little bug sort of thing, all you got to do is add motion blur. Add motion blur, play with a bit of fog, play with a bit of smog, change the lighting a bit. And I promise you, those light posts will get better. They will get smooth. You'll be able to fix that. That's not a big deal, man. <coughs> so now we're going to hit the tunnels. And now we're in the red. So what does that tell me? That tells me that because we're in the tunnels, we have different strict spawn points with traffic being closer. We've got many more lights. We've got much more CSP bounce light. That, hey... You know, maybe it's something to do with the lighting that is causing the FPS to drop in the tunnel. Oh, wow, I turned off my bounce light, and I got a huge FPS jump. What happened? Well, for some reason, in the tunnels, it just doesn't like the high bounce light. I don't know what it is with those tunnel lights, but I'm sure if I go into the config and change a couple things, I can make them lag a little less. However, I have been told that there is some post-processing with bounce light and CSP that virtual reality doesn't like and you'll notice that in VR when you go through those tunnels you're gonna lag so that's what I wanted to show you guys today is it's not hard to fix your game and get a little more FPS with a couple small graphical changes I doubled my FPS almost by changing just a few settings having the game still look good and be totally playable with my maximum glare quality still there for the lighting effects. Now if you turn this down a little bit, let's see what happens. Let's go a little lower with my settings. All right, we're going to go very high, very high. I'm going to take off FXAA and we're going to add motion blur to the game. Oh, it's already on. It's already on 100% too. Okay. Right, I see. So we're also going to take off Local Reflections SSLR, and we're also going to take off Ambient Occlusion if it's not already off. It's already off. So now, one more time, let's just go Static. And now let's see what happens when we load into the game under these conditions. I'm telling you guys, none of this is rocket science. It's just annoying, and it takes a long time. So, within the next couple days, I'll post the new updated presets, and uh, you know, you guys won't have to mess with this as much. But it's really important that you guys know how much these things affect the game. You know what I'm saying, like. I'll have people tell me things that aren't true, they don't make sense to me because of the information that I know, it doesn't make sense for any games, but some people tell me sometimes, and it's just because you guys don't know, and that's fine, there's some people out there that don't know, a lot of you guys know more than me, some of you guys don't, and you act like you do, and the comments don't make sense, and I just don't want people to go to those settings and get messed up because they didn't trust what was being said, and they listened to somebody who said something they shouldn't have said. So now we're getting 240 FPS out of the box here, right? So we're almost at triple what we started with, right? 
and I want you to pay attention to how the game looks still. I mean, after all that, the game still looks almost exactly the same as how it did when I started this up. When I started this at 100 FPS, we had a game that looks almost exactly the same as this game looks. You feel me? So again, we're going to see what happens when we get to the tunnels. But I have a good feeling about this. That was a Mac right there. Squeeze Benz. I'm Squeeze Benz. I'm Squeeze Benz. I'm Squeeze Benz and I got Neon in the passenger seat. I don't know what to do anymore, man. Squeeze! Squeeze! Anyways, we're here at the tunnels. And now we are chilling. 190 FPS, 180 FPS in the tunnels, man. My game's fixed, guys. Boom, fixed just like that. We're good to go. We're chilling. This is the same thing that everybody needs. Oh, that's reverse. That's not six. Whoa, bro. That's what happens when you stuff it in reverse instead of six. All right. So now we have provided proof and evidence that just changing a couple settings can work. I've shown you guys that the tunnels have a problem with the bounce light. I don't know what it is, man, but it's there. And I've shown you guys how much these settings affect your gameplay, man. Just a couple settings that we changed. We skyrocketed three times your FPS, no problem, just like that. This is what you guys need to know. You guys need to hop on here, know this, do this, learn this, if you guys are going to have a good experience playing Assetto Corsa, and the best experience that you can have playing Assetto Corsa forever. The other thing that I would show you guys is if I could load in to another server right now, I think there might be one that's a little denser that we'll load into, and uh, you're going to see the FPS is going to be different different sorry just from playing in this server so we need to download the content real quick I'm gonna to go to the discord hit the driver car pack open that up hit the download thing at the top right hit download anyway and then we're gonna close everything else here except for that one tab I'm gonna hit the download thing open when done so it's just gonna open up for me. I'm gonna minimize everything so I have my content manager up and ready to go for when this download is complete, bro. Optimization, get things done quick, whip this car pack over into content manager, close that out while it's transferring. That might have been a bad idea. We're gonna go back to the transfer and we're gonna wait. We're not gonna get too crazy. We're gonna just wait because you know the energy didn't work out there. All right, now we can close that, right click, make sure you see install all, hit that install all button. While that's installing, we go back to the server link and we just hit try again until it's got everything installed. We're going to hit install all one more time just because it didn't seem like it worked. Also, don't drive this Mustang. This Mustang is garbage, bro. Like, I mean that. It's Mustang, man. I don't know. It was the worst Mustang I've ever driven in a Seto. Not to bad talk anybody that's making car mods out there, but Maria's TT Mustang is <laughs> garbage. Big time. Um, so let's go back now, and we're going to go back to that server link, and we're going to see if everything's good now. I clicked on the driver car pack. As you can tell, I am just all over the place this morning. Hit join. Whoa, man. It's going to make me miss the tanker, bro. Come on, dude. I, there's no way that I'm trying to play a setup right now and I'm missing the tanker. This is like the one server that actually uses the tanker that I have, and that's the one that I wanted to show you guys. Fire, bro. All right. Let's go back to content manager. I'm going to do it one more time. Back to content manager. And we're going to go close and then we're going to go install and for one last time for the sake of science I'm going to close content manager and reopen it because there's no way 
oh no it's still installing content clear completed right click install all let's try one more time does the server want to work there we go let's load in boom now watch guarantee 100 percent i promise less fps than before no settings have been changed but now we will have less fps why more detail in the cars bigger server more traffic cars bigger map and we're just gonna have to wait a sec for this to load in here Should be almost loaded in here. Should be almost loaded in and ready to go. All right, perfect. Now let's see. Let's go drive again. And like I said, guys, I will get less FPS just because I'm in this server. I promise you. Now let's see what happens. See, we're already hitting the 160 here. We're already getting a little lower. I don't ever drive this car. I obviously don't have the triple eights on it like I would normally have. I think I'm on street tires. I was driving the last setup. That's why it's such a slidey car. I haven't changed the feedback or anything. This is just for science. Let's go hit that tunnel, bro. Let's go see my FPS in the tunnel. So it's not really much worse, just a little bit worse, hitting some 150 drops, actually kind of getting down to almost under my monitor's refresh rate, and the graph is, is really bad. See, there's another 150 drop there. I got a big stutter there. So now you can see just from those settings, 